opinion from the street side. Premier Sport Fan Center. Here we talk to fans about their respective uh, clubs and we hear their views, what their thoughts are on their respective club. So we will go here what fans are saying and our focal match for the weekend. Big, big, big matches lined up. Uh, Liverpool versus Chelsea, Manchester City versus Wolf, Arsenal versus uh, Bonamon, though they will be playing away from home, and Manchester United. Big matches lined up uh, for the weekend, so we'll be going to hear the fans what their opinions are about their respective club. Yeah, remember, this is first opinion from the street side. Player talking about players, we, there was one uh, player in Manchester United, Sancho, you know, who was uh, giving good account of himself for Manchester United, but at the point, uh, it's like there was this, um, um, uh, you know, rancor between him and uh, Eric Ten Hag. He went to, he was uh, uh, loan out, uh, he gave a good account of himself in the Champions League, and right now. Uh, is in uh, Chelsea giving good account of himself. Don't you think players like that should be in Manchester United? Um, it all boils down again on the lack of mentality and managerial figure. Now, Sancho is a good player. He's a talent. There's never a doubt about that. But the problem here is he has a coach that does not probably have the means to handle superstardom of a player, control a player and pin him to play. You have good, um, solid managerial figures like um, Alex Ferguson of the old the legend. You have um, Pep Guardiola doing it now. You have Mourinho. These are, these are coaches that have strong um, figure when it comes to the coaching capacity. So Sancho had gone to other clubs. He has seen the mentality there. He has seen the coaching, the managerial figure there. And he has to abide by the rules. You play or you step out. So he has to. His talent has to come into play. So that is the thing. If you come into a play in, into a team, there are a lot of bad eggs, very like a desical. Everybody's, you know, you want to play what you want to play. You are okay settling for the average. Then what do you expect? So, all right, all right. Your legend Ronaldo was one, once a Manchester United uh, 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 player. You know, he played the left. And uh, recently, we had a comment. You know, uh, he said about Manchester United and about Tehang. How do you feel that moment? Um, the truth is that Ronaldo is an A-list Apex player. He's an Aeon, he's a god in football. And he has a mentality that no footballer has ever been able to replicate in passion and in the figure play. So he put out his, his desires, his passion, his opinion of the club while he feels the club and is not winning. She is not winning, the club is not winning. And unfortunately, like I said, the lack of managerial coaching cannot handle the pressure. He feels, uh, there, there is, I feel in the room, in the, in the, in the um, let's say, in the cabinet, in the, in the room where the players stay, there is lack of, you know, that level of winning mentality. So I feel many of them had this, you know, they felt low, they felt they can't keep up, they felt a bit bullied. So that is what happens when you have a star player who wants the best for the team and others are settling for the average. So. All right, all right, and thank you very much. So your match against Brentford uh, uh, on Saturday, Manchester United versus Brentford, what is your take? What do you think is going to win? Uh, what will be the scoreline? Um, I'm predicting 3-1, 3-0. 3-0, 3-1. 2-0, 3-1. Okay. Brentford have the capacity to score mm. based on sometimes the little flub of Manju. Mm. But I think they will turn up on that. Mm. I think they will turn up. All right, uh, thank you very much, and it's nice talking with you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your game. Thank you. Ah!